here's where he left off. This diagram is pretty specific. I want to talk about this, this point here, and alternative ways to find it. Because if you don't want to set up a diagram as specific as we did with that last two videos, maybe you don't need a specific angle where the viewer is looking. Uh, maybe you don't need vanishing points that draw things that are particular degree to the picture plane. Maybe you just want to do something in perspective. And you want to make sure all the corners are 90 degrees. and But you do want to measure things out. So you're going to need those measuring points. So let's do um, bird's eye view. And we'll set this up a little more generically. So this goes back to that very first three-point perspective diagram we talked about. So if I just make up some random three vanishing points. And I don't know what angles these draw. I know it's a bird's eye view. That's it. I don't even know where the center of vision is until I do this. And there's the center vision. There's where the viewer's looking. Now I want to make uh, these things specific sizes. So I need measuring points for that. And we did, uh, we did this way for the measuring points. To find the measuring points. We had five station points. We don't have any station points on this. So this last drawing, see, we only had the vertical station point. That was it. That's all we needed to do the whole diagram. And there's this way to do it. I'm doing these lines. These are the three station points. And doing these kind of quickly. Oh, look at that. It's like almost like right on this blue line. It just happens to be right there. It can be on the blue line, but often it's not. It doesn't have to be. It just happens sometimes. So I'm going to take this distance this little shortcut method. See this one's outside of the blue line. This one's right here. All the station points are the same distance from the center of vision. Okay so we made our measuring points. By doing this, I guess I'll label this. This is left station point, right station point, and our vertical station point. We found our measuring points by taking the distance from the vanishing point to the station point. We're taking that distance and bring that up to the horizon line. And the same thing with the for the right measuring point. We take this distance. I'm going through that like really fast, but the other videos talk about this in a little more detail. So I'm not going to be going over everything that we've already gone over. So see where these two come together right there. That is this point in a bird's eye view. If I turn this upside down. So that is this point. We didn't have these two measuring points, so we couldn't find it this way. We, d we used this method. We took this distance. And swung that over. Whoops, slipped. And you get the same dot is like magic. This spot is 90 degrees between the left and the right vanishing point. More magic. If I put this here, there's, that is where you get your true angles. 
right on that spot this is a true 90 degrees that means this up here that's a perspective 90 degree corner here's even another way to do this one more Maybe you don't even want measuring points at all. Maybe you're just setting up a diagram with three vanishing points and you don't really care to measure things out. So you just set up left and a right vanishing point and then you make a vertical vanishing point. And there you go. It's always kind of nice to know where the center of vision is. Saves. Um, problem of drawing things outside the cone of vision and getting that distortion I mean that is can be a, a bad bad problem so knowing where the center vision is at least gives you an idea of where that you can draw in like roughly this is the middle of the cone of vision so let's say you want here you have a right vanishing point and a left vanishing point and you're just going to, you know, you're drawing something. And you want something, another object. Just make this kind of a thin thing. You know that all these corners are nice 90 degree angles. And you want to draw something else. But you don't want it to be parallel with this one. Because that's kind of boring. So what you can do to find that magical spot here that gives you true angles. I, I've already like set up this diagram. This diagram is correct as far as what's in there you know, to the, at this point. So if I just put a, a leg of the triangle on the left and right vanishing point and put this 90 degree corner on this vertical reference line, if you do this, you get that magical spot. This is a true 90 degree angle. This, these two left and right vanishing points draw things that are 90 degrees from each other. So if I wanted to put another left and right vanishing point on here, really didn't care what the degree of the, the, the left and right vanishing points draw. I just wanted to draw another thing that's not parallel with this one. I can take my triangle and put it here. And I'm just making this up. See, like I could take this and spin it, put more vanishing points. I could make unlimited number of left and right vanishing points just by swinging this back and forth. Uh, I do need to extend the horizon line out. And then this is um, a new right vanishing point. And this is a new left vanishing point. And if I wanted to draw another object, let's put it here. These go to the vertical vanishing point. And whatever these things are, a couple boxes. So you can see these two, they're not parallel with each other, but I know that these are all 90 degree corners. Both of these boxes have 90 degree corners. That is the magical spot right there. So they, that gives you um, less videos, less couple videos, and then this vid video gives you several different options to find that important spot. It is always going to be located on this vertical, reference line that goes down to this vertical vanishing point it's going to be on that and from this point it's 90 degrees to all other vanishing points